My name is uh, Siti. Uh, I'm working as a technologist at SIDA Project. Uh, it's a civic tech organization uh, based in Malaysia. My first impression was that uh, Muni is like, it's very rich in data. So I am a data analyst by background. So when I looked at the data, it's like, I really like how user friendly it is. Uh, and when I first joined, I wasn't, I didn't know anything about the internet networks and all that, but uh, the resources made it very helpful. Our ultimate aim is to basically have like uh, a movement of um, people who can run the probe uh, or to do research, uh, maybe small research or anything like that. Uh, using only data or any other similar internet censorship data to report on those data and to use them for advocacy for internet freedom. So uh, that is our aim in the long term so that um, we, we make sure that the governments are accountable uh, when implementing things like uh, internet censorship or anything like that. So in the previous elections, uh, the, the two previous elections like in 2018, and uh, there was a blocking of uh, the uh, the websites that published the unofficial results of the elections, uh, right? Um, because the opposition was winning, so there was a blocking of the websites, uh, news websites uh, that were in reporting the unofficial results. Um, and then after that, uh, I think Sina reported on it, um, and some of the news caught it. And after the government has changed the. The people, the authorities, some of the authorities had to step down. There, there is a lot of um, concerns on internet freedom and digital rights lately in the in the region. So there are a lot of cases of censorship, surveillance, even shutdowns, and so on. So, um, but there, and so IMAP was started to collect evidence. A uh, few of our objectives is to. Uh, basically to maintain the level of, like maintain the level of measurement so we ensure that people are using only probe in the countries um, so we teach our partners and then our partners will teach their partners to use uni uh, and then as well and then we also uh, make sure that they are also updating the test list uh, as frequently as possible to make sure that um, the irrelevant URLs are are deleted and the relevance are added so those are the things that we basically do in IMAP. The biggest product that we have is our IMAP uh, annual reports um, so we have published uh, a round of reports uh, in 2022 last year. Uh, we published it uh, last December covering uh, the data you know, from UNI uh, from January to June 2022 um, so we have like uh, eight uh, reports published in our IMAP website um, and we have uh, another round of reports covering about 10 countries this time and they are covering the data from July 2022 to June 2023 so uh, a lot of feedback is very helpful to us um, and uh, if you're interested to any collaborations or to understand how only works in this region specifically uh, we are also happy to have conversations about that, yeah.